the C2 Working Group is about interoperability, how to um, make uh, the ecosystem prosper through uh, open standards. And, and that, is, that is very important so that smaller companies and bigger companies all can, can join in, in the ecosystem and can work with that to the benefit of the user because if you have a monopoly, then uh, usually the user is uh, not being provided with the best solutions they can get for the money. The need um, is, is quite high because actually it's not about applications. Um, the, there is a need for a service and uh, you must take the whole service into consideration and not a single application. And it's important that that service could, uh, could be combined from all different parts together um, for the benefit of the, of the end user because that, that's the most important thing and therefore we need some uh, interoperable solutions to, to, to make that happen, to realize that. It's very essential that um, users, that, that products are actually being developed with users in mind and with the variety of preferences and needs that they have and, and that's actually a, a challenge because uh, Oftentimes designers think of uh, the differing needs and, and preferences of users. Uh, they don't think that um, being simple or having a simple user interface is much better than one that has lots of features that uh, people find too complex to, to use and operate with. It's also important that, that people find um, smart home technologies, AL technologies engaging and, and enjoyable so they Actually, in earlier years, like when they're young or middle-aged, they like to have fun, they like to have maybe uh, energy management functionalities to save energy. And later, they, they rely on the same technologies to, to help them uh, when they fall to be detected and uh, alarm systems um, and uh, emergency calls like this or, or all kinds of telemedical systems. I would guess that the biggest achievement in the action group is uh, uh, the definition, understanding of what is an uh, interoperability ecosystem. Why do we want that? It's because uh, we are an action group focusing on the supply side and uh, we, want, we need to address how we're going to uh, achieve uh, the deployment and uh, we believe it's going to be through flexible and interoperable solutions. And to this end, uh, we have distinguished uh, two aspects. One is uh, application profiles and the second is platform profiles. I think that the biggest challenge is um, interoperability, which is actually the, 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 the possibility to uh, communicate between organizations um, without any organizational or technical barrier uh, and or obstacle. The main challenges are um, fragmentation, to overcome fragmentation, to, to have uh, standards that uh, devices, services work together on different platforms. Also that uh, user preferences can be carried from one platform to the other. For example, if I need a bigger font on my TV screen, which I use for uh, maybe web shopping or so, then I can also get a bigger fund on my ticket system uh, when I go to the railway station and, and buy a ticket. It's very important also, uh, we believe that uh, uh, since uh, research must work hand in hand uh, with uh, deployment, that uh, they involve the users and uh, we have the notion of what we call living labs, where actually users are involved in uh, testing applications. And we believe that uh, uh, the results of uh, Living Labs uh, will, be, will go to the market. In order to have that, we need to define what we call pre-standards, where that is uh, that uh, at the research level, uh, the projects must define those pre-standards. And this is what uh, we are trying to uh, foster.